What's up guys, this is Joe and welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 and we're picking things up here in episode 7. Yes, we are still down here in the sewers as well and we just recently got sh uh, separated from Sherry so that's probably what we're going to be doing this episode because we don't know what happened to her. She fell in that garbage heap and then that G-Virus infected monster came after her so hopefully she's okay but we'll be finding out more about that shortly but let's go ahead and do some item management first. Obviously don't need an ink ribbon, let me see. I don't need a blue herb, I'm not really worried about getting infected by any... Uh, spiders or anything like that. Alright, so let's see. I can uh, go ahead and load some ammo into my grenade launcher. Preferably the acid rounds because they are the most powerful. And that'll free up another spot. And I can, I, I can think I can put back the grenade rounds. I don't think I'll need them. So we'll put those in and swap them out with the valve handle because I believe I might be using that. And just to finish things off, we'll go ahead and put a first, uh, put the first aid back in the box because I don't really want to use it unless you settle for the mixed herbs for now. Alright, so there we go. We've got everything now. I have some handgun bullets. Yes, sorry. Right, I was about to say... If I'm leaving the safe room without a handgun, I'm relying completely on the grenade launcher. That would be very wise because then I would just go through all the ammo of the grenade launcher. Now, does this door open? The warehouse door is locked. Will you use the lock pick? Yes, you use the lock pick. Oh, well, there you go. Apparently, you can fully. I thought you could only like lock pick uh, uh, drawers and stuff, not fold doors. All right, well, we'll see where this little ladder leads to. I've got an idea of where it leads to. Yes, remember this is the room that we play. We were in when, when I was playing as Sherry. She had to go through that little, uh, I'll show you over here because there's actually some rounds on the wall I had to pick up. Couldn't pick them up as Sherry because she was too short. They're right here. Now I can reach them. They look like grenade rounds to me. Yeah, regular old grenade rounds. Oh, well, I'm not going to turn them down, obviously. But yeah, Sherry had to go through this little vent here, small ventilation hole. It's way too small for an adult to enter. Yeah, that's where she had to go through. And that's also where I freaking went through to uh, get killed by the cockroaches. That pissed me off. So much. That was so ridiculous. The first death in the Let's Play to a bunch of cockroaches. And then after that, I didn't even get hit. I think I might have gotten bitten once by them. And then I made it through completely, like, safe. It was ridiculous. Just die, man. Zombies are so resilient sometimes. There we go. Now he's dead. Let's go ahead and see where this door leads to. Not exactly sure. I know there was an elevator up there in the safe room I might have to uh, check out later, but... I don't know. I'm just going by what I think. I don't really remember this part of the game all too well, to be honest. Alright, so let's see. We're in the sewer. We're like in the water now. Dang. Oh, this is the waterfall that Sherry fell from. Alright, so this is a dead end over here. There's nowhere to go. I don't believe there's any items as well. So now we know that you can't go this way, so I'll head back up to the safe room and use the elevator to go down to wherever that leads. I got an idea of where it goes, and we might be getting a map of this place from uh, where that elevator goes. But man, it feels good to just sit down and do a normal-sized episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2. After, I'm sure you guys know, if you checked out my channel page, I recently did the second bonus episode of uh, Let's Play Metal Gear Solid, where I found all 42 ghosts, and that video was a long video to record. It was like 56 minutes. Man, that was a hard video to do. I had to, you know, get all the clips together. It was really tough, so I'm happy to be just back doing Resident Evil 2, you know, regular episodes. All right, let's see. There's another elevator over here. Well, I'm not going to mess with that yet, because I think I want to head over here. Yep, see, there's the map I was talking about. We'll see. Go ahead and collect it. There's a sewer map. Of course, I'd like to take it. So now I can see kind of where we are. Oh, wow. There's a lot of ground to cover in it. That elevator over there, does, it doesn't really show me where to go with the elevator. So, you know what? Let me just go ahead and check the elevator out really quick just to, to see where it goes because it doesn't even show on the map where it goes. All right. So, oh, there, well, apparently there's no elevator here. I thought there might have been a lift. I guess somebody used it. Hmm. I don't. I wonder who. I don't know. But we'll be finding out more about that later. So we have no other choice but to head through this door and to see what's ahead. I believe this is where like the spiders are. So, yeah, it's another area with water. These are where the. This is where the spiders are. You just. They're not really that hard to deal with. You just have to dodge them. They're really slow. I think. Like they shouldn't give you a problem at all. But there should be an item back here. Yep. Flame rounds. All right. So we're really filling up with rounds. I might want to make a trip back to the save room while I'm still close to it to get rid of some of these items. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And really quick, you can see as well that there's a spinning fan up here. There's a ventilation hole at the base of the ladder. The fan is spinning too fast for me to enter, so we're going to have to slow down that fan so that Claire can climb up that ladder and head through that little vent. And I'm not sure if that's the same one that Sherry went through with all the damn cockroaches that killed me. I don't know if it's the same one, but if it is, then hopefully they're not there anymore because, yeah, we don't, we don't get along very well. As you guys can see, they're pretty deadly in my when it comes to me. Alright, so I'm going to go back up here. Hopefully this will be the only trip I have to make back to the save room. Because I want to get rid of some of these um, rounds for the grenade launcher. I don't need to have all three types. I think I literally have all the types of ammo for the gun. I've got the grenade rounds, the acid rounds, and the flame rounds. All in my inventory right now. That's kind of overkill, so I'm going to go ahead and drop some of them off. 
Just drop these two off, and now we'll be back at what I originally started with. We'll go ahead and get a fresh clip in the handgun there. Don't want to get caught with just five bullets, you know, in the clip. That'd be terrible. Then I'd have to do that manual reload, or the reload animation in the game. That'd probably get me killed. Even though I've been doing that, like, the whole Let's Play. I know I always say reload in the menu, but I've barely done that at all in this Let's Play. I'm kind of surprised. Usually I always reload in the menu. I guess, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just not thinking about it. I'm just... I'm operating on instinct. I'm just shooting, shooting, shooting until I have to reload, which is understandable, right? I mean, it's a survival horror game, but whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and head through here. Like I said, there's the spiders. They're not really that hard to dodge at all. I'm now watching. Now watch me get, like, thrown up on by one of them or bitten by one of them. Oh, well, there I made it. See, they're not that hard. They're really slow. I think they can... I don't know if they can jump off of the walls, but I know if they're crawling on the ceiling like this, they can hop down onto you. Look, he's trying to spit on me. You can hear him. All right, we've got a waterfall on the way over there, so we can't go that way. Man, I didn't know he could come all the way over here. I mean, it makes sense, because the ceiling is also over this part, but for some reason, I always thought they were restricted to the ceilings over the water. And look, even if you got poisoned, there's some blue herbs right here if you needed them. I don't need them, obviously, because I haven't gotten poisoned yet. Whoa, what's this? Who are you? Oh, I see. Another spy sent by Umbrella, right? Let me guess. You're here to steal my husband's G-Virus, aren't you? You are tenacious, I'll give you that. Husband? Then you must be Annette. Sherry's mother? What? Sherry's wandering around alone in the sewers. You have to help me find her. That's impossible. I told her to go to the police station. What's she doing here? William will be after her. William? That's right. The creature that's been causing all this destruction is none other than my own husband. This way. It's sheer perfection. My precious G-Virus. No one will ever take you away from me. There he is. So you finally come. Doctor, we're here to collect the G-Virus sample. Sorry, but I won't just hand over my life's work. Doctor, you might hit the sample. That's it, all right. Okay, let's move out. Hold on, darling. I'm taking care of that bullet wound first. Stay here. Alpha team, have you retrieved the sample yet? Affirmative. We'll be at the rendezvous point in one minute. Roger. <gasps> Are you telling me that he injected the G-Virus into his own body? The G-Virus has the ability to revitalize cellular functions. What, what, what was that? Something's wrong. Let's check it out. Over there! Shoot! Eat this, you freak! I'm stopping it! What is this thing? So those rats were the carriers of the virus? As a result of his virus-induced transmutation, William should have lost any prior memories he had as a human by now. I tried to save him, but I'm afraid it's already too late. But... And that's not even the entire story. Every G-Virus bioweapon, including William, has the ability to implant embryos into other life forms. That's why he's after Sherry. What are you trying to say? 
The bodies of individuals with non-related genetic coding are likely to reject the embryo. But since Sherry is his daughter, that possibility is non-existent. It's an inherent survival instinct. It's Sherry. You go that way. Oh my, we've we just like so many revelations have just happened in that cutscene. That cutscene, now we know that William Birkin is the monster terrorizing raccoon like the Raccoon City Police Department, the sewers, everything. He's the spreading he's a G virus monster. And he wants to what is it, implant embryos into Sherry, his own daughter? That's just sick, man. Oh my and now and now we know how the virus spread through the rats because he crushed them all with his feet, the vials of the virus and the rats. You know, I guess they consumed it and spread it throughout the city. Man, alright, we just learned so much. And that's just one of the more most, like, iconic cutscenes in this whole game, in my opinion. Like, every time I think of a remake of this game, I always think of how that cutscene would look. Like, it would look awesome, I really think. You know, that's just one of the most memorable cutscenes in the game. William Birkin's, you know, initial transformation into the G-Virus monster. I mean, it's... I always thought, like I said, if they ever remade this game, which would be pretty awesome... That that's what it would look like. I know they did the Dark Side Chronicles or something like the on rail shooting game for the Wii. I don't know if they remade that scene because I haven't played it. I played it a little bit, but not all too much. So I don't know. But if they ever do a full blown remake of the game, that's going to be the cutscene I'm looking forward to the most. All right. So I don't have an ink ribbon, so I can't save my game, obviously. So we'll just keep on heading through the sewage facility. I think that's what it is. And seeing if we can find Sherry because she is in. You know, very... She's in a lot of danger, man. I mean, this huge monster's after her. And now we know why he's after her. He wants to make her a G-Virus monster, too. So that's really bad. Can I go ahead and check this switch out? It's a high-pressure gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. All right, well, fine. That's kind of random knowledge, but... We'll go ahead and head over around here. I don't think you can open those doors over there. Oh, whoa, I'm going in circles again. That seems to be happening all the time. I just over... I press the D-pad too much and my character tends to go in circles. So I'm sorry for that. Oh, Sherry! Sherry! No! Oh my! Holy crap. Wh where did he come from? A giant gator? How appropriate. I'm in the school of the gators, and now I'm facing a giant gator. And I thought he snapped and killed... Cl oh, man, he's quick. All right, so what you want to do is release this thing. Yeah, it actually did have a purpose. Go ahead and wait for him to move up. Man, he's just gonna scream all day, isn't he? This is ridiculous. I don't even know how he squeezed into that area. Let him get the cylinder in his mouth. Let him move up a little bit just like this. Let him pose for the gun and BOOM! His head is gonna explode all over the place. That was one of the most cool like animations in the game. When I was a kid, I was flipping out when I did that. I felt so accomplished. But look at this. He's, his whole top half of his head is completely gone. All right, the guy got leveled. So let's go ahead and go back over there and see if Sherry's okay, because we found her. Hopefully she hasn't been implanted with anything yet. I mean, maybe the alligator ate the William Birkin. You never know, right? Let's go ahead and see. Oh, the door's sealed. Can I open it? The door's electronically locked. Well, the, let's switch open it. A safety lock device for use in case of an emergency. Will you release it? Of course! I want to go ahead and save Sherry. All right, let's see if she's okay. The dumping area B2. Reminds me of Metal Gear B2, you know, basement 2. All right, is she, is she gone? Oh, there she is. It looks like all the city's trash has been dumped here. Well, what a great place for a little girl to wash up on shore. All right, let's go ahead and see if she's okay. Well, first, I want to go ahead and pick up the wolf metal. Oh, well, apparently not. Come on, wake up, Sherry. <sighs> My stomach. It hurts. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Come on. Let's go. She'll be fine. You can even in that cutscene, I'm getting the wolf metal by the way. But even in that cutscene, you can see that there was like a tentacle slithering away from her. Like she's already been implanted. Her stomach hurts. Claire, I mean, eh, she'll be fine. You got to find a way to cure the the girl. My, she's going to die or become a G-virus monster. I think that's even worse than dying. So hopefully we'll be able to find some way to help her out, but in the meantime, I guess we'll have Sherry, you know, in our company because we don't want her wandering off again and getting hurt. But you never know, there might be just a random vent that'll open, you know, and just take her away with the current and she'll fall down a waterfall like last time. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. 
Oh, what happened? Is her stomach hurting or something? Oh, that's right. If you don't stay next to her like this, she she will stop moving and wait for you to go back to her. So you got to make sure you keep her with you. You know, just in case there's zombies around, that's the last thing you want is for her to just, you know, squat down like that and then not follow you. All right, a machine to regulate the amount of trash. It looks like there's a notepad over here. All right, here we go. The sewage manager diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come as much of a surprise, given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. What's wrong with him, anyway? Scratching. That's not a good sign. July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been ever more unsettling than usual. My guess is that he that it's because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief has my sympathies, though. After all, he's done for this town. He doesn't deserve this. Yeah, if only you knew how the chief really was. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today, looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect? That's right. See, he's not well. August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation has concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Sewer manager fire diary has been filed. So you can see they're trying to do some damage control. And apparently the poor sewage manager right here, the corpse of a sewage maintenance worker. I'm assuming that's the manager who wrote that diary. Yeah, poor guy, but he's got his medal there. All right, I've got to go ahead and use. I'll just eat the green herb just like that. So I've freed up a spot, and now we'll have both medals that we can use. Will you take the eagle medal? Of course. Now, those two medals, if you remember, on the way here, there was a little waterfall blocking the passage. I believe that's where you have to use these medals. But also over here is the fan that uh, that was spinning. I'll share it'll be fine. Let's see. A fan regulator. You can stop the rotation of the fan briefly. I don't think I can use... Oh, well, there you go. The valve handle. See, I'm so happy I kept the valve handle. Because it is really useful. I used it, what, three times already in this episode? Alright, so that'll stop the fan from spinning. And hopefully there are no bugs in there that'll kill me. Alright, so we gotta go make sure I've got Sherry. I don't want to leave her. There she is again. Come on, Sherry, get up. Alright, come on. So we're gonna head... She's, like, caught on the corner. Getting caught on texture is awesome. She... Oh, my... come on, Sherry! Dude, can I hold her hand? Is she gonna come with me or what? Come on, let's go. If she gets caught on that corner again, I swear. You know... I don't- There, finally! I was about to say, are you kidding me? Are we seriously- Now I'm getting caught in the spots. Alright, there we go. So now hope- Come on, Claire! Hopefully we can get up the uh, the vat. I can't even talk. The ladder without losing Sherry again. Alright, now like I said, I hope there's no cockroaches or flies in here. Alright, it, it looks like this is probably a different uh, vent than what Sherry used, because I don't remember having to go through that area with all the walkways and the dead sewage manager and everything. So that obviously was a different vent, I believe. So there's no bugs in there, thank God. Now we can go over here and use the metals. Hopefully Sherry doesn't get spit on by the spiders, because I can't control her speed, you know. Oh, dang, there's a zombie on the floor. Do you see him under the water? Oh, they're coming to life. Awesome. Reminds me of the autopsy room. All right, they're pretty easy to dodge. Make sure Sherry keeps up with you, because if I'm pretty sure if she uh, if you go leave an area without her, you'll have to go back and get her. And I don't know if she can be harmed while she's by herself, you know. So, oh, there's the spiders. Awesome. Hopefully I can get these metals in place before they start attacking us. The thing is right over here. All right. Clearance identification device. A wolf and an eagle are etched into the device. Alright, so obviously you need to use the wolf and the eagle metal. So let's go ahead and put those in. And the waterfall will recede and we can go ahead and head to that door behind the waterfall. And all these intricate things these guys do to like to make things difficult is just amazing. I, I don't even know why they do it, but whatever. Alright, so now we have safe passage to the door. So let's go ahead and see what's behind it. We have to wait for Sherry to come on and get up the step. Come on. Alright. Oh, see? See, I told you. She misses her footing. So annoying. All right, there we go. So now let's see what's behind this. I don't. I believe we're done with the sewage facility. Oh, I don't like that music. All right, so we're on a wooden passage. Oh, what was that? I hope that's not Birkin coming after us. Really, I, I I was really hoping that the alligator had eaten him. Apparently, I hope I hope it did, but I don't think it did. And let's not forget that Sherry has been implanted. Oh, what's this? 
looks like this... Oh, I know what this is. Yep, this is a huge tram, as you can see. And this is when I first played the game. I was like, yeah, this is going to be our escape. We'll be all right. Don't worry. The game isn't over that quickly. Trust me. All right, so let's go ahead and check this side. I think there might be something special over here. Oh, there's a control panel. Control panel for the Sky Tram. Will you turn the power on? Yes, I will. All right, so there you go. Apparently, this is a Sky Tram, even though I thought we were in, like, a sewer underground. But, I don't know, maybe it comes out of a tunnel from the underground and goes into the sky. You know, I, I don't know. But let's go ahead and board it, you know. Sherry! See, that's why I get so annoyed with Sherry. Come on, Sherry, get up. Let's go. Hopefully, she doesn't get caught on a corner again. All right, good. She's sticking with me. See, like, I lose track of Claire, and Claire goes in circles all over the place because I'm too focused looking at Sherry. That's why, that's why if I've been, like, spinning and running into walls, that's why. All right, so hopefully the Sky Tram will go ahead and, uh, you know, lead us a little in a, to a place a little bit more safer than the places we've been so far. All right, well, that was, a, that was a really quick ride. And see this little cannon over here? A flare gun. I need something to ignite it. I'm going to go ahead and get my lighter, and then I'll come back here to make sure I ignite that so we can go ahead and pop a flare out. You never know. Maybe it'll attract some help for us. I think this might be a save room. Hopefully it is, so I can just get the lighter out. You know, it'll be really close to that little flare gun. Awesome. All right, no such luck, so we'll just have to keep heading through here. And there's zombies everywhere. Hopefully, like, I don't even... I'll check the menu in a second. I don't know if you can keep track of Sherry's life. No, it looks like you only have Claire's life bar, so I'm not entirely sure of how many uh, bites from a zombie Sherry can take. Get off of me. Oh, dang, he's, his arm got caught on me again. That happened earlier in the Let's Play. I remember there was, like, a zombie's leg or something. You know what? I'm just going to use... They're throwing up on us. Get off, man. I'm just going to use the grenade launcher, right? I don't have time for this. Come on, guys. Stand up. There, he's toast. The other guy's still dead. or the other guy? <laughs> Of course he's dead. He's a zombie. Is he still alive? No, he's just throbbing on the floor. And I thought there might have been an item down here to pick up, but apparently not. So we'll go ahead and head over. Get off! I don't care if I'm using the acid rounds. I'll find a few more. I just want to make sure I can get through this area to the safe room. And I'll probably end the episode in the safe room, actually, and not come back to get the flare gun uh, ignited until the next episode. Because we're already running on my classic 20-something minute mark, and I don't want to go over that, so... If this is the save room coming up, I'll probably go and end it here. Nope, well, not yet. We got a couple more hallways to go through. Can I go? Can I equip different type of ammo if I want to save my? Oh, that's awesome! All right, so I can save my acid rounds. There's an oh, dang, two zombies! Get off! I gotta make sure I use a health item. I'm not gonna die. No, nope, playing it safe. All right. So this guy's gonna get toast just like that, and then the other zombies. Oh, dang! There's another one. There's zombies all over these hallways, man. You would think there'd be more, like, items or something over here. I thought there were some pretty cool items in here, but I haven't gotten any yet at all. All right, there's a ladder. I don't want to use that yet. I, there's got to be something in here for putting all these zombies, even if it's just a box of handgun amp, like, uh, bullets. You know, Sherry, you can just hang back. I don't care anymore. Oh, well, we've got some... Sit down. We've got some more herbs. All right, I guess they're better than nothing. At least I'm not going through these tunnels completely, you know, empty-handed. It's going to be a red herb. Oh, man, two greens. All right, well, it's better than nothing. Let me go ahead and combine them. And uh, we'll head up the ladder after that to see where that leads to. That might actually be the safe room, so hopefully it is. Because I don't want to have to go through any more hallways of these zombies. Look at Sherry, she's just bending down right next to a burning zombie corpse on the ground. And she doesn't, she's not bothered by it, by it at all. She'll just go ahead and kneel right by it. Awesome. I mean, I gotta give it to her. I know I've said it a couple times, but she's pretty brave. Alright, here we go. Now we're at the safe room. So I saw a first aid spray back here, too. Let's go ahead and pick it up out of that shelf. I don't know if there's any... Um, there's a few more items in here. I thought there might have been like a little file I could read for you guys. I'll go ahead and check the desk just to make sure. Oh, dang. You see all these? Yeah, I knew there was some more stuff. See all this stuff right here? Flame rounds again, and we've got some grenade rounds. So can I combine these with the gun? Yes, I love that, man. I love that. I don't even know if the grenade launcher has any like am ammo holding capacity. Sherry, get out of the way. Or she's just going to stand there. See, she's annoying. I'm sorry. I don't want to pick on a little girl, but she's annoying. Alright, machine control panel, can't do anything with that. The factory, the factory manager's schedule's written here, it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I wonder why, the city's been completely destroyed. Pretty sure he's out of a job. <laughs> Alright, so, we're in the save room. I'm gonna go and end the episode here, guys. And we will be picking things up. The first thing I'm gonna do next episode is go ahead and light that flare gun to see what it does, but... Oh, and they are holding hands, so apparently you can't hold Sherry's hand. Alright, cool. Uh, but I'm going to go and end this episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see you back again in episode 8. Thanks for watching.